This video is dedicated to all 500,000 of you subscribed to me, especially to those who have been around since the very beginning. Back then, my videos were simple. They focused more on PvP rather than story. Regardless of that, you guys still absolutely loved it, and you got me to where I am today, so thank you for that. The other day I happened to be scrolling through my videos, and whether it was a memorable wipe I had that week, the people I used to play with, or a crazy play I made in the past which was monumental in my YouTube career, that's when I stumbled across this. The entire Rust experience as a solo, uploaded March 29th, 2018. I ended up rewatching it. Yeah, yeah, I rewatched some of my vids from time to time, but what can I say, I'm just too damn good, man. But while watching this particular video, I realized something. Somewhat accidentally, I did everything there is to do in Rust as a solo, which although at the time wasn't much, it was still one of my best solo runs to this day. Since that time, however, Rust has changed substantially. There's so many new things to do, so much more to experience. So I figured I would recreate what I did nearly two years ago. Same map, same player, all solo. What a beautiful river. Alright, where are we at? Y10. Okay, so I want to be here. This is where I need to be. Okay, follow me, follow me. Okay. Dude, honestly, I should just kill this guy and yoink the presence. It's quit, man. No, some other naked's yoinking my presence. What do the mediums give you? I'm trying to get something decent out of the mediums. Thousand stone. I'm gonna unwrap these ones. Um, what is this? Wrapping paper? Ooh, we got one of these. I'm actually gonna eat this. Uh, we'll make an Ioka. <laughs> All right, well that was an interesting uh, start. Um, on Hapis, I chose this spot right here, F12, because a venting shaft leads down to a bunch of nodes and refinery is like the best monument on the map. So I think that we're gonna get some mad gains if we go over there. That's cool. I mean, it's useless, but it's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Thank you. Ooh, and a nice tool. Dude, this is perfect. You know, the salvage hammer is a stone hatchet and pickaxe mixed together, basically. It's also good for, like, uh, breaking down sheet metal doors if you need to do, like, one extra HP or something, you know? Oh wow, that star gives you a lot. Damn. Alright, we already have a bow. Dude, look at these metal frags already. Hello? Hey, sir. Sir, don't shoot me. Have a good white man. Oh shit, someone's building right there. Can't play nice, boys. Fuck. I feel bad now. I don't need much stone at all for this base that I'm gonna make. So, I mean, one more node should be enough. Yeah. Wait, didn't that guy- Yeah, he did. I'm stupid. Two by one up there, kind of worried about that. This 
is pretty much where I wanted to build though, I thought. Yikes, someone's dead like right here. Fucked up the doors. Oh, <sighs> that's the most stressful part, boys. When start is starting up. Starting up is the most stressful part. All right, so TC, I placed it like this, you know, because furnace goes here, another furnace there, and then I put um, boxes right here. Okay, we have our start. Perfect. All right, this is our loot. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it is what it is. All right, cool. Two by one right here. There's a dead guy here. I would still like his stuff. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's go explore our monument here. This is gonna be our main, you know, setting right over here. Or refinery right there. That's interesting. I don't even get up here. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. I'll find a way, I guess. Look, see? Green key card. And then there's the green room's right there. Oh, another one of those. Perfect. And there's also a bunch of loot downstairs. I think this guy just looted it all. Usually this entire place is just loaded with crates. What? Wait, did the ladder I just come through just get sealed off? What? I must be tripping, dude. Oh, there's a bush over that. That's cool. I feel like my freedom running around here right now is going to be short-lived, so I'm making it quick. Okay, here's a ladder. The other one doesn't have a ladder. Oh, this ladder doesn't even work. There's nothing. Yeah, okay. I don't know how to get up here. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being a Pepega and I'm not looking hard enough, but I genuinely don't see a way to get up there right now, so I'm just gonna leave. I could door camp my neighbors, but if I don't do it successfully the first time, then I have a target on my back, so I don't think that's a smart thing to do right now. Now when I say neighbors, I'm talking about that 2 by one with a wooden door right outside. It's always the smart idea to not make enemies right away. However, in this particular case, it was a mistake, and you'll see why. I'm trying to remember where the recycler is in this place. Oh! That's good. Research table. Oh, military crate. Give me. I think there's a person in there. I'm gonna go deep with the satchel. Yo, th this guy has a this and this. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> because if I get a switch, then I can just evaporate somebody. And he had 186 scrap. Okay, that's actually really good. Dude, I thought that guy had a DB or something. Bro, I can't see at all. Oh my god. Fuck! Dude, I completely whiffed on him the first time, man. Oh my god, they just looted and dipped instantly. One went left, and one went right. So I cut through the middle.
You take from me, I take from you. Later, bitch. We got a med and like our scrap back, so that's pretty decent. Ah, uh, I wanted that rope because I wanted to make crossbows and stuff, but oh well, I guess. Now at this stage, the neighbors started being more active. What you're about to see is pretty much my first interaction with them. Now at the time, they didn't seem like much of a threat, so I sort of disregarded them for now. Well, boys, that's a good way to put a target on your back. I need to go farm some stone. First, I need to heal up, though. Yo, that's a military crate. Alright, I'm going for that. Worth as fuck! I'm out! I'm going to go into a very secret place that I doubt many people know about. And that's how I'm gonna get my my nodes. What is this node right here? It's like floating. I wanna farm this. Alright guys, into the depths we go. Alright, this is where it starts to get interesting, guys. This is a mine shaft, alright? Now, this place is littered with these little tiny nodes, alright? And what's cool is that you can see the little light, even though it's, you know, fucking pitch black in here. But yeah, this is where I'm gonna get the majority of my nodes. It's safe, not many people know about it. And yeah, it's pretty pog. It is definitely pog. I was hoping for a miner's helmet. Yes, perfect. And now I can wear my beard. <laughs> nice. So there's this place. I'm pretty sure this just leads straight down to a uh, loading dock. Yeah, it does. Okay, there's no reason to go that way right now. I'm pretty sure I missed a few nodes. Okay, the only thing I'm doing right now is giving more profit to the raiders by farming up the sulfur. But if I get a bean can, I can do some early game raids so fast. People are starting to get guns. Look at this. That's actually so good. Wow, I didn't realize I got that much. Oh, I got my... Christmas gifts, a little bit of stone. Santa has actually pretty pog. That's really good, so yoink. With this stone, I started to expand the base. That's when my neighbor started poking around again. I need a door camp, that guy. He looks rich as fuck. Now at the time, I only had two neighbors. The guys right outside in the 2x1, and the people up on the ridge. I wasn't sure who was who yet, so I wasn't associating players with bases. I think they're door camping the people up on the hill, these guys right here, because this, this is a code lock. Dude, I know I need to deal with this guy, like, right now. Because if I don't, it's gonna bite me in the ass. As much as I knew this guy was gonna be a problem in the future, he wasn't coming outside. So I eventually gave up. Oh my goodness, that thing was loaded! I decided to go see what all the commotion was about. Fuck! 
Okay, you know what I need? I need bone arrows. And then everyone's dead. One eight hundred, go suck my dick. <laughs> hey bro, I got a deal for you guys, all right? Here's what we'll do: we'll get you out. All right. Do you want the deal or not? I'll get your up. Oh, So at this point, I was really confused. I had no idea who was my neighbor and who wasn't. So far, I've seen about four or five names, and I don't know if they're on the same team or not. What is this? A pookie! I'll take that any day of the week. Okay, they got a sheet metal door on now, but they still don't have an airlock. Right about now was when my neighbors started to seriously retaliate. This included a lot of door camping. Well guys, this is what happens when you let people build near you. You're so trash. Fuck you. Two names that I keep seeing is Andres and Curbside, but I still wasn't making any connections. Faggot, suck my dick, bitch. These guys are toxic. You judge as hell, dude. Shut the fuck up, you pansy. He's on the floor. Look at my nuts on your face. Holy shit. Dude, I'm just the solo in the mix of two groups fighting and they hate each other to like listen to this, dude. I'm just gonna research stuff now. When there was a gap, I took the fight to them. I was desperately trying to get these guys out of the area before they became a major problem. But eventually a couple of geared guys showed up and I died. What? Either way, my neighbors weren't gonna let me go deep. They were only using their outside bags to ensure they didn't let me in. So at this point, there wasn't much I could do. Jesus Christ. After dying again and again, I knew that all I needed to win these fights was a gun. So I headed to refinery hoping I could find a revolver. Yes! Please tell me you have a gun. Yes! He has a pistol! Where? Where? Dude, he has 26 pistol ammo. He has to have a weapon somewhere. I never wanted a weapon so bad in my life. Where is it? It's a Thompson! Dude, you already know I'm dipping out of here. Holy shit. Why is that sealed? Please let me get out of here with this, man. We have a gun. Yes! Ah! Dude, I don't even care. I'm gonna research it now. I don't want to at the same time though, man, because 
What if I start getting raided? That's my only line of defense. Give both loot. Give loot. I needed to get more scrap for a tier 2 and enough to research the Thompson. Oh, that's perfect. I need that. And a bed? Oh, I'm definitely bringing this home. Oh. By the way, that was the most times I've ever hit an Ioka for it to not go off. Oh, here's the guy I killed. Oh, he left a pipe. Yoink. Fucking home man, I'll take it. I'm gonna research pipe for sure. This weapon is big for me. Cause now I have a one shot, pretty much a one tap weapon. Did you guys see my mouse? What was that going on over there? Jesus. Hello. Hello. Now they're gonna break my tier one. Dude, if I get a bean can, the first thing I'm doing is raiding these guys. Fuck you. You're the one messing with me, bitch. I don't know what happened there. They have three people in there, and they and they can't kill me in time. All right. Well, I guess you know what this means. Okay, so high tech, GG Nor, and Andres, Andres. I may have stopped my neighbors from going deep this time, but the sure as hell didn't discourage them from continuing to try and do so. What? Well, I definitely killed him, but I'm fucking dead. Oh my god. Mud's gonna 
My name's Duncan. Yeah, dude. I've been on this server for like years, but... Oh, hell yeah. I got my pipe back. The door camping continued for a long time. But once when I got a break, I tried to make a Tesla coil trap, hoping that I could just flick this on and they would stop door camping. All right, let's see if our friends are outside. Now that my neighbors had finally stopped door camping me, I could actually focus on doing things that I wanted to do. Running home. The garage door is the biggest thing I could get from that. I depoted the garage door, then quickly went back. I'm gonna depot this and come back. There's a bunch of crates everywhere, but this is a solid amount of loot, so I'm gonna depot it real quick before those guys come back. <laughs> I don't know how to get up here, man. Okay. I finally figured out a way, boys. Over all this time, I've been building up a lot of components and stuff to recycle, so I decided it was finally time to do so. However, I wanted to recycle at loading dock because refinery was too hot at the time. We're out of here, boys. Okay, guys. We basically now have access to a Thompson. Fucking hype, dude. Boom. No! We got the Thompson, at least. Thompson's gonna make three. All right, let's do it. Three Thompson's, fuck it. You know, after organizing all these boxes, I just realized that I have like nothing. <laughs> I'm so poor, man. I thought there was more than one. <gasps> yes! Another satchel. That gives me bean can if I recycle it, dude. Once I research this bean can, I can focus on preparing for the raid. All I needed to do now was get it home. However, the group I killed not too long ago must have heard my gunshots because they started to surround me. Jesus, man.
I knew I couldn't stay long, so I made a break for it. Dude, I ble bleed out? Holy shitting ball sack. And then they just loot and dip instantly. Oh my god. Clan on Happus, Jesus. Just give me a bean can. Oh, it's super. And just like that, I lost two gear sets. After spending most of the day getting door camped by curbside, I started to lose hope that this wipe was going to be successful. I was ready to give up, but I went over to that clan and asked if they would be willing to give one of my bean cans back, and to my surprise, they did. Bro, take the bean can. Take dude, it's not good for store can. anymore, dude. This this story is tainted, dude. There's two of us who have hours in the game, and the other two are new, so we just like, we let them do it. People like him will shoot you, so if you want your bean can, he's, he's about to shoot you, just run, just get out of here, run away, this guy's about to shoot you, just leave. They seemed friendly enough, so I depoted the bean can and logged off for the night. Some time away would surely reconstruct my motivation to continue on. I know what you're thinking. We're 30 minutes into this video, and so far I haven't crossed a single thing off of my list. Well, I'll assure you, things start to seriously pick up from here. Pickaxe. Uh... I can fuck these guys up. Dude, I needed that so bad. As soon as we get in, we already have two guns. We're doing better than we did the entirety of yesterday. And we got a double barrel. That thing's nuts. Actually, I want to try something. That's sick, dude. I'd be getting so much more sulfur and resources if I had a metal pickaxe, and I'm so sad. This guy's gonna be my light source. He's so cute. Go now, be free, go. After that node farming run, I was getting much closer to my goal of raiding curbside. My frustrating neighbor who's been giving me problems for all of wipe day. I've been familiar with the base since it was a 2 by one so I know where TC is. So I figured that all I needed was 10 satchels. Then I could soft side pickaxe into the rest of the base. 
Yeah, this is looking good. Yo, that's actually so useful. My heart is racing right now, dude. Oh wow, that's a depot. It's still this guy. He's still primitive. Dude, it's the same guys who've been door camping me this whole time, and they're so primitive now. It's what they fucking deserve. He has a pickaxe! I need that so bad. I went for another recycle run. Wow. Let me get home, man. I had so much to depot, but my base was surrounded by Curbside's group. If I died there, I would have been fucking done, dude, because I have so much. Bro, man. Bro, man. Why you so gay? Bro, man. Open your door, cunt bitch. Come to bitch. Hell yeah, boys. Look at this. Bean can. Jacket. 5-5. Five, five, flashlight. Ladder. That's what I'm fucking talking about, boys. Fuck you. They're still watching my door. They've been doing it for so long. Because of all the noise Curbside and his group made while door camping me, another group came and started lighting them up. I needed to break this foundation so I can make a square airlock. However, as per usual, they wanted to give me trouble.
They started repairing the foundation, so that made me run out as soon as I could. I tried pressing E on my garage door, but it didn't work. And one of my loot rooms was all the way open. I left it all open. I'm so lucky. Holy shit, I'm so lucky. Well, at least they were stupid enough to let me close my door. It's pretty interesting what this guy did with this whole design here. I wonder why he did this. It's kind of weird. Them. Cool. Whatever, at least it got stolen by someone that's not them. <sighs> Gotta love it, dude. After pulling that stunt with the wood walls, I was finally able to make this airlock. Now I would have much clearer view on them. I also topped it off with a nice little sign. And because they're so thoughtful, they made me a sign too. So clapped. Alright, now I can roof camp the fuck out of these guys. And honestly, that sounds like justice to me. These guys have been door camping me for the whole wipe. It was time for some payback. Now usually I don't condone roof camping. But I have never met a more door camping committed, Open toxic group in my life. So I enjoyed every second of it. Finally, they placed a high wall in front of their door to stop me. I think that door camping them back was an eye opener for them though, because after this, it was smooth sailing, and I would finally be able to do what I came here for. It was time to start checking things off my list. No, that thing's gonna break. Come on, please, I'm coming, Minnie. Just hold out for a little bit longer. All right, for all of you who don't know about this, I wanna show you. It's this cool little spot I found that has a blue key card. First time in a minicopter this whole white boys. Um, I don't think this is it. No, that's collapse tunnel. It's up here more. There it is. That's it, I think. Dude, my frames feel so much better out here. Oh my god. window that's big blue card it's basically a uh, airfield in here all right pretty decent amount of scrap from that I'm gonna try and land in venting shaft because I know that this is like flat ground-ish.
So while setting up an electricity system, I noticed that Curbside and his group had a scrap heli. Multiple times they would take off and land and I wasn't really thinking much of it. So while they were gone, I went to go check out their base. The scrap heli isn't here, which could mean that they uh, died out there. Or maybe they aren't doing farm runs, they're doing transfer runs and they've moved everything. Because I have a feeling that could be a thing as well. Oh, the garage door's missing. Dude. That means, I think that means that they they moved. Because a garage door was missing and they lazily left all these doors open, I knew they moved bases. I was both relieved, but frustrated. The only reason I've been farming up all this sulfur was to raid these guys as soon as I had the chance. But now, so close to fulfilling that goal, it was stripped away from me. But now that I knew that my area was no longer under constant surveillance, I decided it was finally time to check the first thing off my list. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Let's do large rig. Uh, I'm probably gonna do SAR. Yeah, 35 sounds good. And then we're gonna need extra meds. Alright, boys. We haven't even gotten an airdrop yet, and we're doing oil rig first. Alright. I'm bringing a pretty decent amount to this. I'm hoping that I can do it right. Alright, boys. Large rig. Let's get it. This is our first... Task. First part of our checklist. You guys came for the entire Rust experience. I'm gonna fucking give it to you. Alright, the hardest part is landing. You'll see what I mean, boys. Uh, please. Please. Perfect. Alright, boys. Now I just gotta take them all out. Doing good. We're doing good. Okay. I think that's good. That's gotta be all of them by now, right? Okay. Full health is definitely- I want every ounce of health I can get here because this is gonna be a lot of damage. <sighs> oh! That was almost death. Okay. We survived. What's the HP on this? 300, see? That's amazing, amazing health. I'm gonna take this diesel because on Hapis you can turn in diesel for 120 uh, low grade. So that's pretty worth. Oh no, it's open. Oh wait, there's still loot in there though. Oh my God. I honestly might just go depot, come back and hope that the scientists haven't respawned and then do the heavies because I'm already like full inventory and I have two armored double doors which are really good. Because I had a full inventory, I decided to start the heavy scientists, then go home in depot and come straight back. But first I made a pit stop at outpost. See, this is this needs to be in procedural. Look at this, guys. That's so worth. Look, they merged bandit. There's no bandit. I don't understand. These devs are weird, man. I decided to bring the M39 with me this time because it does more damage. Okay, I think it's still just the heavy guys. I don't see any boys in blue. Alright boys, two for two. It's so all it takes is patience guys. Rule number one of a solo. Patience, persistence. It's those P's, man. Those P words. <sighs> Nothing. Fucking why do I get a nail gun? Wow, these are pretty bad. Yes, an aid launcher. Oh shit. C4 and explosive, boys. Collect like three over here, damn. Yes! 
Holy shit, that's so good. AK, HE's, another nade launcher. Holy shit. Oh, generator. Mm, I can use that. Dude, that was a really, really, really good oil rig. Holy... Because of this oil rig run, I was able to cross two things off my list. Oil rig itself... And Chinook Crate. Cargo just came out too. Bro, I need to go for that. I saw that cargo ship was out, so this was my chance to get that crossed off too. I was able to clear out all the scientists I needed to. There was a couple more towards the front, but I was running low on ammo, so I figured I'd save it for potential counters. All I had to do now was hold it down. Alright, so as of now, I have like no reason to take out the rest of the scientists. I don't have the ammo to spare, and uh, you know, if someone else wants to come on here, then they're gonna have to deal with it. I think it's back here. Yep, here it is. Perfect. I don't even need to go to the front. Joking? That sucks ass, man. That genuinely sucks. Figured, oh, no one's coming because I've been here forever and no one's here. And then sure enough, the second I go all the way down, that's when a heli comes. That's literally my luck in a nutshell. I couldn't find any more helicopters, so I had to go over on a boat to try and recover this. They come. Unfortunately, I lost this cargo run. However, because I did pretty much all the work, and there was only a couple minutes left on the crates, I checked it off my list. So for now, I moved on. I'd still count that as a cargo though, because I basically did all the work, so I'd say that I did my part of the checklist there. Here's Santa. I want a Santa present, dude. Those things are nuts. They're like actually so good. I have a mini so I can just chase it down. Dude, what? Dude, imagine going to a present when you're already fully geared. I don't get it. Look, you have Metal Gear! It doesn't make any sense. After finding a new minicopter and bringing it home safely, I went back over to the area to see if I could find where those guys lived. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can find those guys and just wipe them out with this thing. I think this might be where they live, because I bet you that's my minicopter right there. I was pretty certain I found their base, but I wasn't 100% sure. They weren't coming out at all after that, so I just went back home. But when I got home, I started preparing for a raid. We got 3.3k GP. Yeah, I think it should be enough to raid this base that I'm thinking. Probably not at the same time, but you know, we'll see how far we can go. And the base I was thinking of was this wooden high wall base. It popped up overnight and it looked pretty juicy, so I figured I'd try it. Originally, I was gonna raid curbside, but because they moved out, I knew it wasn't gonna be worth it. All right, so here's my idea though. I'm thinking of putting ladders on the side of this mountain so that I have easy access to the top. There, look at this, boom, straight to the top. Instead of having to go all the way around, you know. Okay, now I gotta craft all these fucking things. 
12 satchels. All right, so in total we have 13 satchels. Um, this one was the one that we got off of a guy earlier. So I made 12, but we have 13. And we have the C4 as well, so. So I'm gonna go stash an extra weapon up top. You know, we might, I might need it. All right, let's take one last look. I wanna figure out what is powering that turret. Is there a solar panel on the roof? You know what, I have a bunch of fire shells. I wonder, hold on, I think I hear someone. I wonder if I should just burn this wall with instant shots. I have so many, and I wonder how many it will take. Cause I mean, six satchels is a lot to just spend on the high wall when I can easily use, you know, like other things. Because of that trip to oil rig, I had tons of shotgun shells. I figured it would be a lot smarter to use this instead of six satchels. It would take a lot more time, but it would be worth it. It's probably on a rechargeable battery since it didn't turn off right away. But depending on the battery's size, it'll eventually run out of power since it doesn't have any more power to go off of anymore. Okay, I have so much handmaids and shit. I'm gonna just use up as many of those as I can. That will probably knock it down a pretty decent amount. After spending a few stacks of buckshot and handmade shells, I significantly brought down the health of the wall. Rating it now will be a lot cheaper. I'm gonna throw one satchel on, I'm gonna see how much damage it does, and depending on how much health is left, I'm gonna throw the second one on. Seventeen. Alright, I'm gonna do this. That's not a good sign. Fuck. Pick up the AK! Like, it says assault rifle. I can pick it up, but it's not letting me. Oh, baby. Although the base I was raiding was seemingly empty, the counters made up for it. I got two full gear sets and two fresh AKs. However, based on the first couple of boxes being empty, and also realizing that armored doors were ahead, I decided not to risk my explosives on it. Instead, I got in my minicopter and I flew to the snow to see if I could find a farm base. 
Okay, we technically did a raid, but it was not a successful raid. So, it is not part of the Rust experience. I mean, we did the raid, let's be fair. It was part of the Rust experience, but I'd like it to be a raid that, that has something, okay? So, that's what we're looking for right now. Okay, well, that's not happening. Need to fill up on gas. What is this shit? This seems like a potential uh, raid target. I don't know where to go with this. I think I should just go through doors. Okay, I'm gonna move this. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go here. Oh, it's a bunker, I think. Wait, what is this? That's a ceiling. I'm gonna make a bag if I can. Boxes. It's all organized too. Okay, decent amount of comps. More boxes, tier three, I mean tier two. Okay, so TC's down there. Okay, it's, it's all right, I mean. I don't think it was worth, but still, it was way better than the last raid. Alright, I'm going to see if I have anything to break the wood wall, I mean the wood door with. These. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that. Oh my god, there's a bunch of boxes in here. What? Research table, okay, some scrap. I'm definitely gonna leave this guy with some stuff. I don't need all that. Ooh, there we go. 3,000 sulfur. Actually, some pretty good components in here. I mean, you know, not worth it, but. At least we got something. I grabbed all the best loot and headed back to base. Like I said, there wasn't much profit, but I could confidently cross something off the list. Four down, five to go. The first thing I did on day 3 was recycle everything I got from that raid I did on day 2. After that, I researched a few things. Why is this 500? It's a tier 2, you fucking assholes. I'm doing launcher. Dude, should I take heli? Aw, oh, someone's tagging it. Fuck, I should've. Alright, next time. Next time for sure we're taking heli, dude. Alright boys, um, probably gonna head to large oil. Should be good.
my god. Did I just get two? I did. That's nuts. Just like last time, I flew out of there before taking on the heavies. Unlike last time though, I didn't go back. Instead, I called in the airdrops at my base. Dude, I really want to get these airdrops, and then I want to take down a heli. Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Three auto turrets, and then I hear mad C4. I think I'm gonna go counter that. Three, four! Okay, bro. Seems perfectly fine. I already have a bag out here. It was that base I was scouting out earlier. They must have made someone else pretty angry. I was waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Dude, which one has the door? Oh my god, dude, I need a door on this. Wooden door it is. <sighs> dude, there's actually so much. Another AK, nade launcher, it's out of ammo. Dude! What? I just made gains with this. Is there any metal frags? I need doors. There we go, metal frags. Now that I had control of this raid, it was time to make it more secure. Guys, I genuinely don't know what to do. There's so much. that I don't need. Garage door just chilling. Okay. I think it's safe to say that that counter raid was successful, which works perfectly for me because that's another thing off my list. We have rocket now. Dude, that's perfect. If I research that, then I'll, I have explosive, rocket, rocket launcher. Big boy rocket raids, bro. Incoming. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got everything worth worthwhile in boxes. I think it's time to take a peek outside. I am 100% sure that these people are waiting behind this wall and stuff because like there's no way that they would just let this happen and then get off. I don't believe that. Heli's out. Damn it dude, I knew that was coming soon. They gave up. They just didn't even bother coming back. Oh wow, it's already almost down. That's a first, man. That You don't see that that often, bro. When it comes to like getting your shit stolen, like rockets and like and a base full of AKs, you don't just let that slide. Dude, what if I can take a heli here, dude? God. Dumbass bow guy just ruined it, boys. No. 
I wanted this heli bad, and I wasn't gonna let some random naked stop me. I can't believe it's not down yet. Oh my god! It just did a nasty fucking Beyblade spin. Okay, we got it down. Kind of worried about that group that was first taking it. They got it on fire pretty fast. M2. No fucking way. Okay, I'll take it. We can take Bradley with these HVs, and that's part of the uh, whole experience. So, Rocket C4. Wow. My god, no. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. I saw a horse. I want that. I just want to be able to skirt out of here. Oh. Wow. And I'm dead. That's awesome. Despite that one AK loss, the profit was immense. So as soon as everybody cleared out, I started to move loot. We made it, guys. Let's fucking go. Five rockets, two C4, five HVs, and then five incendiaries, M249, two extra AKs, would have had a third, but yikes. Oh my god, it's a three man, dude. That loss was unfortunate, but once again, it barely put a dent. We got most of the guns and all the explosives back home. So now I had to start deciding what I was gonna do with all this. And since I already had a few HV rockets from the heli, I figured taking down Bradley should be my next task. I believe it is time to do Bradley. I researched HV rocket and I crafted up eight. Well, eight. It takes seven, but I crafted up eight just in case if I fucking miss one like a Papega. And uh, yeah, this is basically my kit for that. All right, gamers, let's get it. Hey! Alright, perfect.
All right, that's a pretty decent spot. Dude, I should have brought like an L96. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Fuck. One crate is out. I'm not gonna go down until all three crates are out though. I wanna get this, uh, this tower cover for as long as I can. I just heard a scrap heli land. Okay, I'm gonna go for the crates and then head back up to the tower. Wow. What is that guy? I have a SAR? I kinda want his ammo. I'm gonna do a uh, full loop and make sure that they're not just camping the top, waiting for me to go loot the body that I killed. I think he picked up the second guy and then they both got out. Yeah, I see bandages right there. Shit, was that them right there? Could be their base. This might be a potential raid. Look, I can see metal frags. Oh, they're coming out. This might be a potential raid. It's only two by two honeycombed like twice. I still gotta do my online raid. Man, that was a good take. It was clean. Not a bad haul at all. With Bradley done, there was only one thing left to do, and that was the hardest one of them all, online raiding as a solo. Let's do a quick recap. On day one, we got door counts by a group for the majority of the day. On dress, GG Nor, Zen, Toast, and Curbside, to name the main ones. Other than that, there wasn't much progress towards our goal. On day two, things started to pick up. Although Curbside's group was still around and there was still a few close calls with them, day two was also the day they packed their bags and moved elsewhere, which in turn allowed me to start actually doing what I came on Happus to do, so I did. And on day three, we knocked out every single last thing we needed to do on our list, except for one. And this one, I've been thinking about since the very beginning, the online raid. So that's exactly what day four is about, finding a target. I think that everybody on this server raids at 3 a.m. because, you know, one day a base is fine and then I log off and log back on and a bunch of bases are raided. I have none. No scrap. Jesus Christ! Every time I say anything. You sound like blueprint, bro. Wait a second. Because you don't talk about blueprint. No. If you don't say anything, you probably blueprint. Okay, you have good taste. Hey, make sick content, bro. I need a voice changer. It's official. I need a voice changer. So over all this time I've been recycling, doing farm runs, and crafting explosives. I even ran large oil rig again with an M249 and got some stuff from there. Ooh, the priority now was finding a base to raid. Now I thought this uh, solo run was going to take me like a week or so, but so far it's only been four days. This is the fourth day and we pretty much completed everything that we need to complete. Now, here's my problem with online raid is that right now I have no idea what to do. Like right now, what I'm thinking of doing is taking off on a mini copter and just looking for a base, right? Looking for an active base. But here's the problem is that I need to find a base that is active, is run by at least two people or less. Three people is like, I'm gonna get fucked, I feel like. It needs to be a smaller base, so like a two by two honeycombed. And I need to have some sort of reason to raid them, right? So far, everyone I found is either way too big of a group, way too big of a base, both of those combined. I never thought it would be so hard to find an online raid, but I'm just gonna go around and I'm going to look for bases to raid. And honestly guys, if I fail the online raid, 
I'm still gonna count it because winning an online raid as a solo is a little bit too much to ask. Holy shit! That thing has got some- WHAT?! Sure, how did that even happen? That thing has the most insane accuracy I've ever seen in my life, dude. What the fuck did I just witness? And then my heli crashes for almost no reason. I was flying it directly parallel with the ground. It should have just slid, but instead it did some fucking cartwheel. I mean, this is just a 3x3 three three honeycombed. This doesn't even look too hard. Oh my god, they have backwards outer TCs. Backwards outer TC, random low walls on the top. That turret is like, I don't even know why it's there. Okay, they got a turret on that side too. I think they got a bunch of turrets. That's the only problem. Curious to see, are these other ones backwards too? Yep, they made the same mistake a few times. More backwards walls. This might be it, boys. I think I might have found my online raid. I feel like getting shot out of the sky with their stupid SAM site is reason enough to try and raid these guys. Oh, dude, that turret's plugged into that splitter right there. I can easily just break the splitter and then boom, I have easy access to this side. It's only two floors. It would be so easy to just go through the roof. Boys, I'm excited. I think this is the one. My decision was final. These were the people I wanted to raid. But before following through with it, I wanted to spawn out there and create a game plan. All right, let's go over the game plan. Look, they're in there planting right now. Dude, this is more of a community than a compound. I think that I, I think I might have this in the bag, but I don't want to get too cocky. So, I'm going to fly a minicopter in over this mountain, probably right behind this rock here. I'm going to go up on this part of the rock, this peak, and then I'm going to shoot an incendiary rocket up on the tower and right where their door is on their roof. Then I went on a test server just now and I figured out how much explosive ammo it costs to break a splitter from this distance. And it's a lot. It's a ridiculous amount. Like, it took me at least two or three mags of AK ammo. So what I realized was with a whole mag of M249, default 5.56, and around eight to nine explosive ammo from an AK, which is gonna be my secondary weapon, I'll take out the splitter. And I'm also going to be making sure that they're not coming out on the ground, trying to shoot me, then I get them on timers and all that. So once when that turret's done, this turret right here on the left, I'm going to fly low right over the high walls and onto the left side of the roof. Then I'm going to run over to this turret over to the right. I need a two satchel it and immediately run behind the tower. Yeah, I think there's five or six of them, dude, honestly. I hear them inside. I keep seeing them come outside. There's a bunch of them. Okay, so as soon as the turret blows up, I'm good to go. I'm good to just start going in. Just go straight down with the rockets. Look at them, they have bows and stuff, but the, I, I keep seeing them going out with the... Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I keep seeing them go out, like, full naked to farm. I'm 100% sure these guys are loaded on farm. I think I got this, man. If I, if I just play it smart, I think I can do this. I spent the rest of that in-game day running the roads trying to find a mini-copter. The base was halfway across the map, so transferring all this raid equipment would be super risky. It was absolutely necessary for this raid. But I couldn't find one, so I had to settle for a scrap heli. Okay guys, I never thought it would be so hard, but we have a flying vehicle. After that, I started raid preparations. Alright guys, this is it. This is the day we either make big gains, or we make no gains. I can't believe we're fucking doing this. Okay, we're getting close. Gotta lay low. Lay low. Stay below the SAM site. That is not below the SAM site. Oh no. That's not good at all. 
That is not good at all. The raid hasn't even started, and I already made a major mistake. But now that I was all the way out here with everything I needed for the raid, I decided to follow through with my plan regardless. It was time to try and cross off the last thing on my list. Dude, I really, really, really fucked that up. All right, smoke grenades it is, dude. When you're in a situation like this, you completely disregard any plans you made before. The only thing working for me right now was my adrenaline, so I had to trust my impulses. Turrets out. Dude, what? This is bullshit. Okay, I've got to rock it again, I think. It's still not broken? Thank God, man. Okay, more explosive ammo. Reload this. At this point, I didn't even care how much rockets I was using. I just started ripping towards the middle of this base. Fuck, I think that guy just scuffed it. Okay, no, we're still okay. They just stand there! They just sit there and die! Yes, more rockets. About out of resources yet? Don't look. Nope. God damn. Don't have a fucking chance, man. We don't even have any guns, dude. I just picked up an AK. That's yeah, we the only just one made we had, that. man. I just made two. You just more. made it. That means that you got resources. I swear to you. What? I didn't get TC? I just fucking blew it up, I thought. Somehow I reached TC. I was beginning to think that I would actually win this raid. Hi guys. I'm a solo by the way. You're solo? Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. You, there's no way you're solo, dude. Dude, they're so loaded. Holy shit. First we get door camped, then we get raided by some kid named Pure Leaf. Hackers on the small oil. G fucking G, man. I'm gonna install this game. I'm done. Oof. I'm just bad at the game. Why did you pick us, dude? You guys look loaded. <laughs> We're honest. Okay, this is like a lot to hold down right now. 
Okay, perfect. That's what I was looking for. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. Dude, I can't see anything. I need to make a fucking campfire. Look, he says that he's not loaded, but look at that, dude. He's trapped by his own flame turret, man. Is there a tool or a jackhammer? Okay, that'll work. I'm pretty sure that I own I this base. I don't know who you are, whoever is inside our base, but uh... He's gonna say GG, yep. Mm -hmm. You win, good job. I don't ever want to play this fucking game anymore. Oh no, I, I didn't want to ever work on something. It just gets raided so fast and I never get the chance to do anything with it. So this guy was complaining about how he got raided by a cheater, how there was no way I was solo, how they didn't stand a chance. But if they would have worked as a team, they could have easily won that raid. So real quick, I wanted to see how many there really were. One, two, it's the same guy, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, 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 still seven. Okay, so it was at least seven people, man. <laughs> I just, I just raided a seven man clan solo, dude. No fucking way. Well, maybe that guy was right. Maybe numbers don't mean much after all. Let's see what's in these lock boxes here. Oh, yo, that's actually really good. That's all these guys had to do in this raid wouldn't have been possible. After a long wait, the counters had finally left. My work here was done, so I headed out to find a mini comptor to transfer everything back home. Dude, you're gonna do like three damage to me, relax. These guys are cucks. Next raid target question mark? They've been roof camping since I passed last time. They're still on the roof. Oh my god, dude. Fuck you, roof camping pussy! <laughs> what a bunch of bitches, man. I wonder if someone's on their roof right now. Who could it be, though? Who could it be? Uh, who could it possibly be? I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe it's these guys to the left. Oh, there they are. I was about to log off for the wipe, but these guys near outpost didn't seem to get off their roof. I couldn't just stand by and allow this, so I thought I'd pay them a visit. Happy, what the fuck you doing? Oh, fuck you, you roof camp pussy bitch.
doing? Oh yikes, there's a fucking shotgun trap like right there. Wait a second. I know this name. Hey, hey, can you at least pick me up uh, a little bit? Come on. Not moments later, that's when it hit me. Toast! It's these guys! The group that gave me trouble since the beginning. I found them. First a door camper, now a roof camper. I couldn't have expected any less. And now I was in their base. I'm going down. It's going down. I'm gonna fuck up toast. There's another dead guy right here. Moink. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. Oh my god, dude. Okay, whatever. I used up most of it. That was worth it in my eyes. Dude, those were the kids from way back when. Yo! Wait, wait, wait. So you're with Toast and Curbside and all that? Yeah, Zen too. I knew you guys moved, so I was stripped away of my revenge raid. Because you guys were literally the most toxic, annoying people I've ever met in my entire life. Constant door camping. Constant shit talking. Oh, TC griefing. Can't forget about that. The yeah, man. I got everything I needed. Uh, try not to, uh, be a piece of shit, alright? In the future, you understand? Just don't be a fucking asshole. A GG's blueprint. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. GG. That was like the cool- that's actually like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, you finding on a helicopter and just like blowing it up and just killing us. I was scared you were gonna get into like our entire base, dude. I didn't have enough. I saw an well, armored like, door. He, he was literally screaming into the mic. Hey, hey, do you want to try to get curbside on right now? Because he's like texting. No. That guy yeah, was the yeah, worst so. one. Say that, you, uh... You can join us if you want. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. Alright, well, uh, listen guys. I need you guys to all get up, uh, right here. Line up nice and, uh, just in a straight line, alright? How do you take pictures again? 